and welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being here today today i'm doing a reading for the aries collective sun moon rising and venus and this reading will be on what do you need to know in the next 48 hours so um that is what i was guided to do so this reading will be valid for whenever you are guided to watch it it's timeless for the next 48 hours that's the energy and energy is fluid so please place the gender roles as you see fit for your individual circumstances and cross watches you're very very welcome um just a quick reminder i do daily aries readings so hit the notification bell if you haven't so you know when the next reading is available also i do one card reads which are in the short section of my channel and um, there's always something fun and fabulous in the communities tab so do check that out Alrighty, let's see what do you need to know in the next 48 hours what do you need to know these cards made themselves known quite loud and clear which i love if there's anything else that needs to be known for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I do put date stamps just so that I know when I'm doing these readings. Um, but that's really just for me and reference. So just wanted to say that. Oh, we've got quite a few cards here. They were all together. So let's see. <clears throat> wow big big energy here aries some really big energy here aries in the next 48 hours Whew. there's a lot of um so lot lots of swords a lot lot of um air energy gemini libra aquarius you may have this in your chart or around you but i see a lot of endings endings completion cycle of completion so the first card, we, we're not going to be farting around here. Excuse um, <laughs> the French, but I couldn't think of any other word that other than we're starting the reading with a bang. Boom. Three of Swords. We're starting the reading with Three of Swords. Three of Swords could mean, um, could mean a breakup, could mean ending, could mean heartache, loss for some of you. So depending on your situation, could be job loss, could be relationship, could be connection, um, that's the energy that I'm picking up here. It says, release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. For some of you, I feel like this could have been not... I'm picking up this energy that it may not be right. This loss or this ending hasn't happened right now. Could have been a few months, um, six, nine, even 12 or longer for some of you. Remember, be gentle with yourself. Healing can take time. Healing can take time. We often want things to be just like at the snap of the fingers. But sometimes when we are, when it's something long term, something that we were passionate about, it can take time. So be gentle with yourself. And as I say that, voila, page of cups. So you can see that really that healing energy. So you, I see here that you might be feeling lonely or alone. Um, perhaps as you're navigating through this situation, but your angel team is right behind you. Tap into that. Tap into that. Ask for help. For some of you, talking to a counselor, a therapist, energy healer, that may also help. Because pages, page is a message. And with the page of cups, it's, it's also a message of love offering or support. In the traditional deck, you see a fish trying to come out of the cup. A new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights, yes. Time for you to really um, make time for yourself, go inwards and you will get the answers and it will help expedite the healing process is what the angels are saying. Seven of, seven of Wands, this past person connection, job situation may surface, but you need to stand your ground and ground strong Aries. See, it's almost like taking a leap off that old whatever it is and moving on. That's that's the energy and vibe here. So it's standing your ground. 
what what was in the past was in the past so you're moving on from that past energy here poof leaping into future stand up for what you believe in have confidence claim your personal power love this claim your personal power ten of swords no surprise after the three of swords so you are ending that cycle you are completing that and it's coming to an end where it belongs it has been very painful and difficult i'm sending you all the love for some of you it's been a very long process long journey long road but guess what you've come out stronger the other end you should be proud of yourself you should be proud of yourself and congratulate yourself on how far you've come i really truly feel this for some of you you really need to congratulate yourself a situation has ended and you're finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow put the past behind you did i not say that as we started the reading the only pentacle that made an appearance two tens completions ten of pentacles ten of pentacles is the ultimate happiness card in the deck i love this you can see the um i feel tower and they're having a coffee at a cafe maybe some of you want to do that for yourself perhaps you go with someone that you a friend or someone or perhaps you just take yourself to a nice place i might do that for myself actually <laughs> today um because it's really motivating me to do something for me so ten of pentacles getting back to the card it's the ultimate happiness it's the most happy successful card in the deck this is house home financial security abundance happiness joy family all the things once you release the past this is what's available for you aries that is what sip spirit is saying it's your time there is so very much to be grateful for gratitude financial success and the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life who doesn't want that financial success and promise of retirement amen i say aries watch your back watch your back the past person is still keeping tabs on you they may want to make you a fishy offer they may come towards you but you've already ended the cycle i mean free will you have free will every person's situation is different but what i'm seeing here is can you really trust them that's the question only you can answer because what i'm picking up energetically going back is not it's going to repeat the cycle i feel like this you come here if they make you an offer you accept the offer you're going to go back to the three of swords back to the ten of michael and then back to the five of michael nothing has changed why this person connection whatever the case may be they haven't changed so you whilst you may have grown and changed and evolved they have stayed exactly where you left them this situation doesn't serve you release your attachment to the outcome consider taking a more uplifting approach aries the magician here you are in your glory new beginnings fresh start you have all the tools and the experience now you are even more ready than ever to step into and create the life of your dreams you can manifest the life you want what you need will magically appear successful beginnings oh my goodness here we go comes the tower the tower was needed for you to have a new successful beginning this ending was important you've learned your lesson there's no need to repeat this and the tower appearing as the final card if you go back to this situation person this tower moment will keep coming up is what i'm picking up from spirit i don't know about you tower moments they are bloody hard they are taxing they take everything and some but the transformation is beautiful however 
if we don't learn our lessons and we keep going and repeating the same mistakes, what are we going to get the same outcome? Because we haven't learned. And that's what the tower as the final card is saying to you. If you're going back to a person, place, situation, keep go with your eyes wide open. You've been there before. Ask yourself, can you do it again? And is it worth you doing that again? It's time to change your life, Aries. It's time to change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Oh, I love this. Break free from procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. I'm going to read the last line again. In case someone needs a gentle reminder. Embrace the opportunities that can ch that change brings. I love this. Love this. So this is your reading, Aries. Thank you so much for being here. Do hit the like, subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when the next reading is available. Thank you for all your donations, kindness, comments. They mean the world to me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I read all your comments and I appreciate your donations to keep my channel and me going. So thank you so, so very much. And I will see you next time.